Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about vaccinations versus immunizations, the difference, and also there's uh, an update to California immunization requirements for schools that our holistic doctor emailed me um, saying, you know, hey, get this information out to anyone you know who has their kids in school. Uh, we homeschool, but we still had to get our exemption for the charter homeschool. Uh, anyways, uh, on a side note, uh, Bill Gates, our lovely lizard friend, is a uh, is coming up with a universal vaccine. And um, with 5G being rolled out, uh, you're gonna see a whole slew of symptoms and illnesses, uh, maybe new, you know, they're, they're gonna play dumb, like, oh, what are these? Why would we need a vaccine to the rescue? There comes Bill Gates, you know, he's been trying to vaccinate the world uh, for years. Uh, anyways, um, so that's coming, something to keep in mind, um, this universal vaccine uh, correlation with, with 5G. Um, but uh, going on to these, uh, these new requirements. So starting in the 2019-2020 school year, um, they're going to start requiring two rather than one doses of chickenpox varicella vaccine. Um, does that make any sense? Um, and then we're going to require two MMR doses and three hep B vaccine doses. Um, why would you need, you know, <laughs> M MMR, if you've seen Vax the movie, uh, you can see that when MMR is given to kids between 12 and 18 months, uh, there's a huge causation with autism and William Thompson needs to be subpoenaed by Congress. Um, and uh, especially, you know, black kids, boys are really affected and it's abs absolute legitimate information. If you haven't seen Vax the movie or the truth about vaccines, you need to go do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, and the other thing is, yeah, temporary medical exemptions are can be issued for no more than 12 months. So they're really clamping down. Uh, they really want to get everyone vaccinated. Um, they want to mandate it. They start with the kids. They start with, you know, California and they're going to kind of see how it goes. And they're going to really hope that it catches on. Um, and our ignorance on these issues is, uh, you know, benefits them and these industries. Now let's talk about the difference between vaccinations and immunizations. Did you know there's a difference? So vaccinations typically cause hypersensitization. Reactions include allergies, asthma, autoimmune diseases, contaminants, and viruses such as herpes. Cancers can be triggered. Those are vaccinations. Immunizations, however, are caused by natural exposures to foreign proteins that challenge our immune systems. The confusion exists because health officials are acting as propagandists. They do not mean the same thing. They have been successfully confused by the government and industry propagandists. These propagandists want you to want you to believe that vaccinations prompt natural immunity, which they do not.